Hey, good morning, everyone. How's it going today? Coach Alvarez here, back at you with another episode of Coffee with Coach. Hope you're up doing well. Got the mind in the right place, but if not, as always, let's put it in the right place. So today, um, again, for whatever reason, gravitated back towards the, uh, the Jocko podcast. Um, and again, gravitated towards it because as I'm flipping through my YouTube videos, I see something that says um, uh, mental toughness, uh, you know, stuff in that nature. So I'm always going to click on those kind of videos and stuff like that to see what they have to say. And I've already listened to this video, but I don't know how I missed this because it's two hours long, two hours and three minutes long. But anyways, um, in this podcast, in this two hour long video, um, he's talking about taking pride in hard training. Okay. And it just captured my attention because I take pride in hard training. I take pride in just things being hard, period. And um, that doesn't really resonate with a lot of people, but for a lot of other people, it does. And what he's going into is this story he's telling. He's reading a book. He's actually sharing this book. It's by uh, Colonel David Hackworth, and the book is called About Face. Um, it's a, uh, I think he was in the Vietnam War Army, and it's his memoir of this, the situations that he's going through. And he's talking about um, taking over uh, this unit, this battalion. And he was talking about the unit didn't, I'm, and I'm reading my notes here. So if you see me looking this way, um, the unit didn't have any identity, didn't have any pride and didn't have any culture. And so as a result, basically, he just said these were the scroungiest uh you know, just, I guess, sorry is complete disaster type of soldiers. And um, so he had to come in and, you know, get things together for these guys. And basically, these guys are just saying, you know, they didn't have a, they didn't have a mantra about them, a mission statement, statement about them. And what really also caught my attention, he just said, is what you say is what you believe. Okay, what you say is what you believe. And that just resonated with me as well, because that's just true for a lot of people. A lot of people speak negatively uh, about themselves and they start to believe that, that they're not good, that they're not going to, you know, achieve anything or accomplish anything. Life is the way it is. And I guess I'll just accept that um, and they'll just stay where they're at. Right. And then you have other individuals that, you know, they believe um, or say good things about themselves they believe higher things about themselves and then they go get after it and win things and accomplish things and stuff like that, which I can relate to as well because I never say anything bad about myself ever. No matter how bad things get, I won't say anything that's going to put myself down in a way where I can, it'll, it'll grow on me and start, I'll start to believe that. And a lot of my friends and family members trip out on that stuff and they get they call me conceited they call me arrogant they call me but it's just what it is without reading all this stuff i just know already that what i say about myself will eventually come true okay so if i'm a winner you know i like to train hard i like to i like things being hard i like i like to um you know accomplish things and do things and whatever the case may be you know i'm gonna go do those things but if I tell myself I suck, I'm no good, I'm never going to have this, I'm never going to have that, um, all these things, then eventually that's going to grow on me as well. And I'm going to believe those things, you know. So anyways, this uh, this colonel, he's talking about he had to come in and rename the unit. All right. And he had to rename the unit and he called it um, the hardcore. And I got to leave out the rest of the words because you know I just keep it clean on the videos. But it was called the hardcore. OK, the hardcore and um, what eventually happened, end up happening was, you know, they ended up taking pride in hard training. And Jock was talking about he did the same thing when he took over his his unit. His unit um, was called Task Unit Bravo. OK, and when he came in and took over the unit, he changed the unit from Bravo to Bruiser. OK. And obviously with the two words, there's a dramatic difference in task unit Bravo. And now you're being called task unit bruiser. OK, bruiser, toughness, you know, just put it together. Right. It just make it just makes sense. 
So over time, you know, you start to take pride in that name. Okay, you take pride in what you're doing. You take pride in the hard training. And like Jocko was saying, he goes, I just wanted my guys to be ready. You know, getting ready to go to Afghanistan, stuff like that. You know, I wanted my guys to be ready. He goes, so I made training harder, you know, try to make training harder than what it would be like in, in, in real life kind of thing, stuff like that. And um, just over time, when you change the name, you change your thought process, you change the, the, the training that you do, um, you, make, you take more pride in that, uh, you start to become an elite group, you know. And for instance, like for my school, for my, for my academy, you know, we always use uh, on my geese, you know, it's a samurai helmet, man, uh, or a gladiator helmet. Um, you know, that might not resonate, you know, too much with the, the, you know, with some individuals. But for me, it just can't be like a, a soft animal of some sort or something that just is cute and cuddly. You know, it has to be tough. You know, we're doing jujitsu. You know, we're not. It's jujitsu. We're choking each other. We're battling each other day in and day out, imposing each other's will on each other. And so it has to be that way. So the mindset, you know, inside the gi jacket, inside our gi jackets is a samurai helmet, or sometimes it's a, it's a gladiator helmet. That's what I want to be thought about when you think about our team or our symbol is something like that. Again, not something cute, uh, soft and cuddly where, you know, you just want to sit on the couch and lay in bed with some little animal, you know, a stuffed animal kind of thing. Um, Again, it resonates with some people and some people it doesn't. But I take pride in the fact that the atmosphere that we have in our academy is hard training, you know, is hard training. And again, some people just they come in and they can't take that. They can't handle that kind of push, uh, that kind of um, what do you call it uh, uh, I'm losing the word. But anyways, they just can't handle that kind of stuff. So it, you know, they'll, they'll either leave or they'll, they'll come in and see uh, with a free trial and be like, yeah, this isn't for me, which is okay because that's why we do the free trial. You come in and see if this is something that you're looking for and if not, no hard feelings, you know, we just go our separate ways and we just do our own thing. So um, I believe in this 100%. What you say is what you believe and you got to have a mantra or a mission statement about yourself. And for me, it's just only can only be one way, you know, um, same thing like with the music that's being, you know, that's played in our academy. Sometimes, you know, certain coaches, they'll come in and they got certain things on the radio and I'll come in and I'll change it because I just don't feel like it fits our training. It, do, it doesn't fit uh, what we're doing in there. So I'll change it. You know, it's just one of those things where, I mean, I just said it yesterday. You know, if it's not hard, it's soft. It's one or the other. There's no in between. There's no gray area. It's, it's, it's one or the other. And I'd rather have it be uh, thought about as hard or be hard all day long, every single day, than we have anything to do with being soft, okay? Um, that's just the way I run my personal life. That's the way I run my business and my academy and my students. I take pride in the fact that my students, and I talk about this all the time on the mat, um, I want them to be ready for whatever, okay? A lot of times when you start jiu-jitsu, it's just, um, well, I'm here to, you know, for self-defense or I want to get in shape. But it should always be self-defense. Jiu-jitsu is a self-defense. So we should never forget that. And over time, we do forget that because we make friends in there. You're getting all buddy-buddy, chummy with people. So you come in and it becomes more of playtime and social hour than it does self-defense training. And I'll never let my academy or my students forget why we're there. We are there for self-defense training, okay? And also, we can't get in shape and lose weight if we're not really training. You can't lose weight that way, right? By talking. No one loses weight by just talking. You got to train. You got to put in the work and you got to sweat. So, um, you know, it's just one of those things where when they're talking about this identity in, the, in, in this, you know, these guys are already soldiers. And to say that they look scroungy and just a complete disaster and you had to have someone in come in and, and uh, get a, have a change of command to come in and re, uh, 
vamp everyone's mindset and the way they do things to put them in a position to win, um, I can relate to that 100%. I really, really like this message that they were talking about. And again, not everyone is about that, <clears throat> but they should be. They should be. I just feel like the way life is, the way how, how tough life is, it can be really tough. Um, if you're not mentally and physically ready for what life brings your way, man, you're going to get beat every time. You know, it's going to be hard to win the battles that life brings your way and or people bring your way because of just the way people are, the way humans are. There's a lot of good humans out there. And then obviously there's not. Right. So um, preparing yourself day in and day out with the mentality and the physicality that you need to have to go out there and win. And there's only one way to do that. It's hard training and take pride in that. And I think the students that I have, um, you know, they really take pride in the training that we do. It just makes them feel good and they know that they're ready for whatever it comes. So again, it could be, uh, like I said, I remind my students all the time, you never know when someone just might bump into you out in the street, restaurant somewhere, and you might have to protect yourself and or your family. And so you better be ready. And we, we're ready every day, right? Or let's say we got students that want to compete. We got a lot of students that want to compete. You're ready every single day because of the way we train. You're ready to go out there and handle business. Kids, got a big kids program, teens program. A lot of bullies out there waiting to pick on kids with low self-esteem. And um, our kids are ready. I feel bad for any, well, I wouldn't feel bad because they're bullies, but any bully that picks on any of my kids, you know, it's just going to be tough for those bullies because, you know, my kids know how to get down, man. We, we train them uh, like we do the adults. You know, we train them to be ready to handle all types of situations. We want the kids to come in and have a good time and make friends. And, um, you, you know, uh, you know, they're kids, but also they have to be ready for the bullies. We're there to handle the bully situation. So, the, so there just can't be soft. It's just hard or it's soft. It's one or the other. There's no in between. So definitely taking pride in the mantra of hardcore training. And that's what Jocko's talking about in this podcast. And, you know, you're just a different kind of person once you're in an elite group like that, around people like that. Your mindset is different and the way you carry yourself is different, uh, you know, versus you know, training that isn't hard, it's soft, it's, it's, you really don't believe that you can handle certain situations. Um, maybe inside your inner circle or the people that you're around, you can handle that because they're soft too. But when you really have to take care of yourself, you know, are you really that confident that you can do that? And the only way to do that is to make sure that you're prepared 100% by training hard, you know? So again, we don't train reckless, okay? There's no holes on my wall, my, you know, there's no, there's not people, um, you know, getting hurt in my academy. It's just good, hardcore training to where um, the mind and the body is just always ready to handle whatever. So can definitely relate to this story he was sharing by this, uh, by this Colonel David Hackworth here and actually about faces the book i want to order that and check that out because it just seemed like some really good stuff in there so again what you say how you train what you do and how you do it is what you're going to believe about yourself so you know if your belief about yourself isn't really all that great um no worries all you got to do is change some of your daily habits put yourself in some tougher positions around some different people um so that you can have a better mindset. And again, obviously, uh, for a lot of us, we wanna be a part of an elite group, and that's what we're building in this academy. And I take very, I take a lot of pride in the fact that that's what we have in our school. Got a lot, a lot of good people in there, um, you know, good-hearted people, but when it's time to get down and train, we get down and train. So definitely have a, an identity here in our academy with that. And if you don't, I um, highly recommend that you do so. And all it is is just changing the unit that you're around, the pride, and the culture. The culture is going to be a big thing about it. Again, we've always had, you know, you always get those people that always have negative things to say about, um, you know, our school. This is a simple fact. They just couldn't handle the training. There's no other way of putting it. So um, take pride in the ones that do. And uh, I take pride in the fact that, you know, 
what we do in there is just really helping a lot of people and making sure we're ready to handle any situation that comes our way. So um, good stuff. So take pride in the hard training. Don't run from it. Go towards it. Embrace it. And it just changes a lot of things for you. All right, guys, I got to leave it there. I got things to do. We got a turkey uh, Mission Arlington food drive. So we're wrapping that up today. And then I'll be going to Sam's Club to pick up a little bit over a thousand dollars worth of turkeys so you'll see me later with two big baskets hopefully if they didn't sell out um with turkeys to go deliver to the mission because food banks are low and um try and help other in the, others in the community have a great thanksgiving so we're very blessed and we're just trying to pass it along to other people all right guys so have a good day and we'll catch you on the next one